The ability to handle distributed loading is probably one of the last big omissions uh, within our solver. So we'll put that right in this section. Now, as usual, we're going to start off in Blender and identify, we're going to use our 3D model to identify all of the members, all the elements that are going to be subject to a distributed load. Then we'll write a script that exports those member definitions and we can bring them then into our, into our solver code and actually start working with them. Now we discussed the theoretical approach to how to handle distributed loading back in our 2D frame analysis course. So you know at this point that if we have uh, distributed loading, that's we can't manage that within our within our code, within our solver, within this method. We have to take that distributed loading and we have to work at equivalent nodal actions. We've got to take the loading and distribute it out into the nodes. Uh, of our structure and uh, replace it with some equivalent nodal forces and equivalent nodal moments which we're just going to call equivalent nodal actions. So once you've done that or once we've done that we can then add those to our global force vector and proceed with our analysis as normal and then once the analysis is complete we've solved for our reactions we've solved for our internal member actions we step in again and we remove those equivalent nodal actions uh, from our reactions and from our member forces to get our final our final nodal actions so there's a lot of terminology going on here and if, if if this has confused you I would I would urge you to pause stop because I don't want you to just blindly follow me typing code I want you to really understand what's happening so if it's confused you um, I'd say pause go back to our 2d frame analysis and review uh, how we you know review how we explained uh, the theory behind what we're doing here and then come back here and it will implement it for 3d so um, in contrast one last thing to say in contrast to when we were doing this for 2D structures, the process there, um, fundamentally it's the same process that we'll be using now, but when we did it for 2D structures, it was kind of, well, I found it was pretty laborious actually, because you had to work out your equivalent nodal actions and then manually apply them uh, to each of your nodes. So this time round, we're going to make that a much more streamlined process. We will simply identify the members in our 3D Blender model that are going to be subject to distributed loading and then within our code all we're going to have to do is say what is the axis of loading as in what axis direction is the loading applied in uh, at what's its direction and what's its magnitude and then our code is going to take care of calculating all those equivalent nodal actions so it's a far more improved process than we we had when we were doing this for 2d structures uh, so once that's complete uh, we'll have a well-rounded solver that we can put to work